everyone it's Jalen and welcome back to my channel what's up hope you guys are alive and nobody has the coronavirus because that would suck anyway basically today what we're going to be doing is so like last September or August maybe August I got this little baby tarantula and he was like this big when I got him so I have been keeping that from you guys I have been hiding him and I have been waiting for him to get bigger. I'm very, very excited to show him to you. It is literally one of my favorite types of tarantulas or my favorite type of tarantula because number one, they're like one of the most docile tarantulas naturally. And they're also, I think, in my opinion, one of the prettiest and they also get very, very big. And I like big spiders. They're, I think big spiders are cute. I don't know, I'm weird, I like spiders. <laughs> I'm gonna show him to you guys. First of all, I have a clip of him when he was a baby somewhere, so I'm gonna put that in now. Also, I, he is behind me and I'm going to go ahead and like change up his enclosure because he is starting to get a lot bigger and he needs a bigger enclosure for when he's a big boy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get to it, shall we? This spider that I'm going to show you is called a Brazilian black tarantula. Um, I don't know what their scientific name is. Let me look it up. The Brazilian black tarantula is called a Gramostola pulchara, pulchara. So that's the um, scientific name. I just call it Brazilian black tarantula because that's basically what they are. This guy, he is a very, very good eater. As you can see, he has a very fat abdomen. I am not sure whether it is male or female. Plus, I think he might be a little bit too young. So I'm gonna go ahead and show, oh, he flipped over his little water thing. Hey, bubbies. Oh, hello. As you can see, he's very little. He's little, he's just like the size of my finger. Hi, honey. One thing about these guys that you have to be very, very careful with and careful with with all tarantulas, but these in particular, because they have very, very big abdomens, which are very, very delicate. So if you drop them, that would not be good. So I'm gonna just like grab a pillow. So when I take him out, I have something to hold him on top of just in case he decides to take a leap of faith. But I'm gonna go ahead and take him out. Come here, bubby. I've been taking him out ever since we got him as a baby because I want to keep him very friendly. And while these tarantulas are friendly naturally, I just want to make sure he stays that way. Come here, honey. As you can see, he's very little and cute. I need to move this. Okay, I'm going to put him on the pillow. So I'm so scared of dropping him. He's so cute. He's so cute. Can I hold your hands? Thank you. Sure, you guys are all wondering what his name is. His name is Wendigo, he or she. His name is Wendigo. Um, like that demon, you know, the Wendigo. Yeah, that's what he's named after. It's a unisex name, so it fits him perfectly. Basically, the reason that these are my favorite is because, number one, how pretty they are. I'm gonna insert a picture somewhere here of what they look like full grown because they're just so beautiful for full grown and I'm so 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 excited he has successfully gone through like five molts already five or six molts already since we got him so he's doing well he's thriving um, he's gotten thick as you can see he is a very thick boy I'm gonna go ahead and put him back in his little enclosure um, and I'm gonna transfer him over to the one that I just cleaned out. I just, we got, we have this little, little enclosure that I just rinsed out with the hose and I'm gonna put him in it and I'm super excited because I think he's gonna love it. Obviously, as you can see in the name, these guys are native to Brazil and Uruguay. So they are, um, I have no idea if I pronounced that right, by the way, Uruguay, that one. So they are native to their grasslands there, which are fairly dry habitats. So you don't have to like worry about their humidity levels too much like you do with some tarantulas. Some tarantulas are very, very finicky with humidity levels because of their molting and whatever. And these guys are very, very easy with that. So these guys are also pretty good beginner tarantulas, but you have to be comfortable with, comfortable with having a big tarantula because these guys do get, like I said, very large. And I love that 
about them. This is the little enclosure that I'm putting him in. Um, it's a little wet because I rinsed it out. But I'm going to go ahead and use my creature soil. But yeah, this is a very, very good one. This is already the stuff that's at the bottom of his enclosure now, so he's very used to it. I'm gonna go ahead and give him enough soil at the bottom to give him the option to burrow a little bit if he wants to, because these guys don't necessarily burrow all the time, um, but if they, if they feel like it, they will burrow. So I'm gonna give him that option. So I went ahead and covered the bottom completely. There's about half an inch, like this thick. Focus, you can't really see it because it goes down a little bit further and this thing blocks it but yeah go ahead and mist it a tad just so it stays like not so it's not completely dry so it's a little bit moist well this spray bottle is basically empty oh there we go okay okay so next step i got these sticks and i boiled them so they are free of any yuckies that were on them and i let them sun dry um and i'm gonna go ahead and put those in his enclosure and make it all nice and pretty for him actually i changed my mind i have decided to put a little bit more creature soil in this because i didn't realize i thought that this didn't have as much room as it does but i'm gonna fill it up a little bit more because i want to give him the ability to burrow a little bit deeper if he would like to if he chooses i used almost the entire bag i have a little bit left um there's about an inch in there now so i think he's going to be very content okay now one of the places for him to hide which is not this is not going to last very long because the next time he molts he's probably going to be bigger than this but i'm going to go ahead and put this in here anyway in case he wants to climb on top of it or something you never know so let me i want to put it like kind of in the ground un poquito so he can get in it okay that works okay now for the sticks i think i'm gonna cut i want to like kind of hide his little his little house so he can he can um hide around it too give him another stick this is a big one god i'm really struggling here okay i just use a little bottle cap for his water you have to fill it daily though because it does evaporate um, so you're gonna make sure that if you're gonna use a bottle cap, it's constantly full, but they get most of their water from their food anyway. Here's what it looks like so far. And I'm putting his little water right there. And the little thing that he's on now, I wanna go ahead and put this in there too. Hello. Okay, so I moved everything around a little bit cause I wanted to put this in here to give him the option to go back there or climb on top of it. Cause he really likes to climb on top of this thing. Oh, he walked right on me, that was so cute. You're so cute! Here you go. Go in. Do you like it? Yes? Excuse me, sir. I need to put you in tarantula enclosure. Come here. There is little cricket running around with him. He will die soon. I think he's starting to explore, seeing where he is. He does not understand. So I actually just found this little cup in here, which I think is going to be better than the bottle cap because um, it'll keep the water there for longer. So I'm going to go ahead and change that out real quick. Hello? Excuse me, sir. I need to come in. Oh, well, there's a fault. Got to move those sticks around so it doesn't do that. I need this. Okay, let me go ahead and put this in the ground. I can already tell that there's gonna be a bunch of crickets that are gonna die in here, but you know, it happens. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on and wait a little bit to see if he like goes into any of his hides and then I will get back to you shortly. He is going to be chilling right here next to my gecko while we wait and on top of my other tarantula while we wait to see if he moves at all.
I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing my baby tarantula. He was very excited to meet all of you and um, I was very excited to show him to you. He's adorable. I can't wait till he's full grown and the size of my hand. That's going to be so exciting. Um, anyway, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment and I will do my best to respond to all of you. Um, Please subscribe if you are not already so you can see all of my future videos and turn on the notification even though YouTube doesn't like giving people notifications that much. Um, they're very selective about it. Anyway, but go ahead and do it if you want to be notified whenever I post videos and like this video if you like it and all of my social medias are in the description and you know, all that fun stuff. So. I do not have a problem with bees. I only have problems with wasps because they sting you when they feel like it. Bees always have a reason behind stinging you. Wasps do not. I'm gonna keep my distance from my camera, but please like the video. Uh, yeah, okay, have a nice day. Goodbye.